Fauci and the Pentagon. Mm -hmm. Fauci got permission from the Pentagon to do it to begin all his work. So you can't take him to jail, right? He's working for them. He's yeah. He's uh, uh what do they call it? He's got, got uh, He's immune to uh, to uh, immunity. Yeah, he has he's got immunity. immunity. It says in verse twenty two, the punishment of an of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. Talking about the Israelites that are in the truth. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. And we're in a new captivity because now he's trying to make it where you got to have that theme. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So the Lord is coming up against this devil now. Why? Because we fulfilled our time. He don't want to let us go. We're repenting. See, you put someone into prison, even in America, you go to parole and they'll say... So, you take it out on good behavior. Right. But when you go to parole, they ask you, did you learn? Uh -huh. What have you learned? Do you, do you take responsibility uh -huh. for your crime? And then when they do, they give you the right answer. They, they get a chance of getting out. Well, that's what we are doing in repentance. Have we learned from our time in slavery? Yes. Mm -hmm. We sinned. We don't want to sin no more. Mm -mm. Okay. So now we're supposed to get out. These devils don't want to let us. They out. keep denying it. Yeah, <laughs> you'll never. I, and, and that's true. I saw in uh, Alabama, I believe it's Alabama. It was one of those southern states, though. But this dude was charged with rape. He was a Judite. Mm -hmm. They said one of the girls that they said he raped was still a virgin, and the doctor said this lady's a virgin, mm -hmm. and they oh, said he wow. raped her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They gave him fucking twenty five years to life. And they said once you get denied twenty uh, uh, two times, there is no more. Even if uh, you're innocent. Even if you're innocent. So and he got denied the second night, and the Edomite cop mm -hmm. says, "Don't worry, we're gonna do what we do best." And that guy came in, and they said, "Nope." And it, it, the camera, the narrator of the whole thing the, that was documenting it, mm -hmm. there's people in prison. They know for a fact they're innocent, yep, and, they, and won't. they won't let them out. The uh, senators and politicians. Come on don't. Mm -hmm. She had evidence that would have released the guy from murder. They got him from murder in, I think it was California. Mm -hmm. And she was being questioned by a congress lady. No, it wasn't a congress lady. It was somebody running. It was, uh, I think it was oh, Donald, well, she was Donald running? Trump or somebody like that. And uh, she had evidence that would have got this guy out. And she hid the evidence. Mm -hmm. So it goes all the way to the top of these. Right. And they Shit, said right she here. These guys know mm -hmm. we're innocent now. Because we're, we're washed in the blood of Yahweh Shah. Yeah, they can go and, uh, like a president, he can go get uh, these unjust, wicked uh, <coughs> convictions on these people that they put in prison. And he can go in there and... Exonerate them. Yeah, let them out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Donald Trump. So he's just this guilty fucking, too. Yeah. This fucking Navy SEAL cut out a guy's heart while he was still alive. Donald Trump exonerated him. And his, that's own, a guys, crime. his own guys turned him in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because that's how bad it was. Go ahead, Yoko. Go ahead. Uh, <clears throat> have scattered uh, are the horn. Sherlock, yeah. These are the horns which have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Right. For the Lord Yahweh shew me four carpenters. Then said I, What come these to do? Right. So these are the angels that are in the in the behind the scenes working the destruction of these devils. Come on. And he spake, saying, These are the horns which have scattered Judah, so that no man did lift up his head. But these are come to fray them, to cast out the horns of the Gentiles, which lifted up their horn over the land of Judah, to scatter it. Mm -hmm. Let me get it right here. It says in Revelation 9, verse 14, <coughs> Saying to the sixth angel, which had the trumpet, Loose the four angels, those are those four carpenters, mm. which are bound in the great river Euphrates, verse 15, mm -hmm. and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay a third part of men. See? Mm, so they're, they, they, they're the ones that were given the information to these devils on how to build these missiles. Mm -hmm. See, right now they're holding it back. Don't use it yet. No, not yet. Not, it's not yet. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for that commandment. Yeah. And yeah then then they're going to give them the commandment. 
Blast them. And they know it, because in that movie, uh, X-Men Apocalypse, mm -hmm. they show it. They're like, who's turning into key? Or in that movie, War Games. Oh, yeah, and their eyes are black. Yeah. And they're like... And in the War Games, they had the computer. It's AI. It's called Joshua. Oh, yeah. And they start shooting missiles. Oh, yeah. Remember? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, he, an old he movie. He stops it. Mm -hmm. That's their wish is to stop it. They yeah. can't, uh, I even seen, uh, we need, uh, I think it was Biden, mm -hmm. that they want to uh, bring the tension. No, it was some military general. They want to lower the tension. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the Lord doing that. He's like, not yet, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> <coughs> Build it up until mm -hmm. that time, you know, mm -hmm. when it's time. I go to, that was it for that. I go into two. Oh, two, two? Yeah. Okay, I was going to, I was thinking maybe you wanted to go to Psalms 27. Yeah, we're going to go there after this one. Uh, uh, now, that was the again. The Lord wills. What was that last one I did? Uh, like? Zechariah chapter two. Okay, Zechariah chapter two, verse one. Yeah. Zechariah chapter two. Verse 1, I lifted up my eyes again and looked, and behold, a man with a measuring line in his hand. Right, and this is talking about John the Revelator. Go to Revelation 11. Huh? Then said I, Whither goest thou? And he said unto me, To measure Jerusalem, to see what is the breadth thereof, and what is the length thereof. Right, which is 144,000. Men. And behold, the angel that talked with me went forth, and another angel went out to meet him. That, that's good right there. Mm -hmm. Now you go to that Psalm 27. Go ahead and grab that. You start at verse 1. Huh? Revelation chapter 11 and verse 1. And there was given me a reed like unto a rod. And the angel stood saying, Rise and measure the temple of Yahweh. And the altar, and them that worship therein. Which the the the, the temple, the altar is America. Mm. This is an altar where what did they do on the altar? Burn, burn, mm -hmm. and they're gonna the sacrifice is gonna be all these people's flesh. God. Mm -hmm. But the court which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles, and the holy city shall they tread under foot. Forty and four and two months. Mm -hmm. Wait. Forty and two months. Salakia underfoot. Forty and two months. Forty and two months. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and three score days, clothed in sackcloth. There you go. So these are the two witnesses, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. We were at one time in darkness calling ourselves Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. But because we're in the last days, the Holy Spirit woke us up. Starting and they, with, they know who we are. Because right? uh, remember Biden, our Bill Gates wife? We need to get the Negroes, Latinos, and Native. They, she said it just like we say it. Uh, Biden said it too. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump, he said the... Perennial uh, uh, yeah, prophets of doom. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they know. Once again, they know who we are, and they're so, supposed to let us go. But, like, our own people don't know. But right. They know, and we know. Right. But our, uh, the two-thirds don't know. They reject it. Yeah. Con. Yeah, that's their portion. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before Yahweh of the earth. And if any man will hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. Which and there is a day coming that this will happen. We, we're actually sp speaking fire, mm -hmm. but there is a day where we're actually going to have fire coming out of us. And what is that fire? It's that light that is inside of us, this truth. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. <clears throat> That's gonna be an amazing day to see one of the brothers, or hopefully us, yeah. you know, hopefully you. We all hope to be in that number. You know, fire come out. That's why when you're praying, you're supposed to be praying for the brothers too. Mm -hmm. Come on. <coughs> <coughs> and if any man will hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. And that's why no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, because what is in these nuclear missiles? Fire. Fire. Mm -hmm. What is inside of us? Fire. Fire. It says in Hebrews 12 that our fi our power is a consuming fire. 
So that same fire that's in this missile, that's in the chariots, is within us. The Leviathan. Mm -hmm. That's in the Leviathan. Mm -hmm. That's why that fire, you shouldn't really be afraid of that fire. Because if you're doing good, that no weapon should hurt, harm you. Mm -hmm. Even though it was created against you, it shall not harm you. But now if you're doing evil, you should be afraid. No, he should. you should be afraid. You should be very afraid. Right. Mm -hmm. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with plagues. Which we're going to have that power of uh, Moses. As often as they will. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. Right, not all of us, because 1 Corinthians chapter uh, 50, I'm sorry, 15, 15. verse 51, <coughs> it says we shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So right now in that time that we're prophesying, this devil, this beast, is starting to come up, right? What are they saying at the UN? We need to be confederate. And we got to come against uh, the domestic terrorism, international terrorism. Mm -hmm. See, that's what it's saying. They're talking against us. Mm -hmm. Con See, because they're, they're a confederate. Mm -hmm. Russia is with them. Mm -hmm. China is with them. Iran. Iran is with them. See, mm -hmm. they're together against who? The Israelites. Because it says in verse 17, the Lord puts it in their heart to destroy the whore. Right. And mm -hmm. there... You know how he does it? Yeah, I was shy he's going to be on top of this place. Mm-hmm. Power. And their dead bodies... You know what it's like? It's like if you was an angelic being and you want uh, him to kill his partner or his loved one mm -hmm. and you stand in front of him. And, then you and he just shoots at him. <laughs> well, bah, he, bah, bah, yeah, I wish I don't even have to. And he don't move. Yeah. And when you, when you, what's left is that person, and that man's hand destroyed his lover. Mm -hmm. See, that's what the Lord's gonna do. He's gonna make these nations that are allies Come. to America, including Russia. Russia is an ally to America. Mm -hmm. Yeah, remember they were part of the UN. If they weren't, uh, uh, he deceived the whole world. Right. They think they're enemies. Right. He deceives them with the media. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft. Mm -hmm. uh, if they weren't allies, they wouldn't be doing the same thing as America with the jab and everything else. Yep, they'd, be totally they'd be calling it out. It's a fucking lie. Mm -hmm. But they're not. Because they're with the program. Mm -hmm. And their dead body shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And they... Of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. Which just goes back to Ezekiel 37. They know who we are, but you don't have no fucking Chinese telling you you're the Israelites mm -hmm. or the Arabs, you're the Israelites mm -hmm. or Africans, hey, you're the Israelites. You're right. You know, mm -hmm. let's come together and fight this devil. They're not fighting for you. When they're fighting, what it is, is they want us in slavery. Like the Palestinians? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, it's our turn on this hoe. Mm -hmm. You know? And they're mm -hmm. fighting. It's like dogs fighting over a bone. Yep. They want their turn to tear us to pieces again. And they all had a turn already. Mm -hmm. That's why in Ezekiel 37, it calls Israel uh, um, dry bones. Oh. Yeah. Harlot, too. Uh, yeah, harlot. We've been uh, harlots in our, in our darkness. But now that we're coming out of that darkness into his marvelous light, what what we're, we're no longer just taking it. We're we're crying out for the Lord to save us, because we're married to Yahweh, and He's gonna give us over to His Son Yahweh. Yeah, like a mm -hmm. woman, say she's like a drug addict, right? And the guy she wants to marry a guy, and he says, "Well, first you gotta get off drugs, stop smoking cigarettes, yeah. stop drinking, and uh, get yourself in shape, and then I'll marry." They got you. a movie like that. Um, we gotta uh, get ourselves in shape before the Lord marries us. That's what this time of grace is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like before a fight, you got a time to train in camp. Mm -hmm. You go to a camp to get your body in order, mm 
Mm -hmm. Get your mind in order to fight that opponent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And only a remnant will do it. Right. And they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another because these two prophets tormented them that dwell on the earth. After and they're being tormented. You got Israelites all over the world waking up to this truth. Mm -hmm. And this truth is spreading. Even if you don't have them teaching, guess what? You got secret disciples. Mm -hmm. They might be doing quick videos on their phone. Yeah, or seeing them. Just seeing them yeah. and believing. Mm -hmm. And then they're secretly talking to each other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from Yahweh entered into them. And they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Which is right now. They're afraid. Why? Because we're showing that they are the devil, the son of perdition, and that we are the Israelites. So then mm -hmm. what does that make them? The enemy Time. to Yahweh and Yahweh Shine. See? So that makes them afraid. They're like, we got... Just think, you see it in movies? They'll, they'll kill somebody and they come back alive? Or mm -hmm. they'll, they'll, they'll hide the body and the body, they discover the body? Oh, shit, man. Fuck, man. You know, they, they, there's really true stories, crime stories like that. Oh, yeah. Where they get afraid and they fucking kill it the witness. It happened in Commerce City. Mm -hmm. The guy put some guy in a concrete block and the cops found it. Right. And you don't think he got afraid because they found it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this big concrete Are block? Are you come back from the dead? <laughs> there's that one movie with Charlie Sheen where he, uh, Wrath, or Wreath. And he comes oh, back yeah. from the dead, and they're all scared because he's killing them one by one. Oh, that one movie, Tales from the Hood? Tales from the Hood. Where they get the cops? Mm-hmm. What about that one that you were talking about, the, that they tried to kill the man, and he kept on coming back alive? Oh, yeah, that's a real story. And you know what I'm that's thinking about? Mm -hmm. Those, these, uh, Esau's like the cop. I think his cop. name was Toto. Or to Toto? Toto? He, like he, never he was thought, from Africa. He never thought this would happen. But he was an Israelite. Go ahead. Because he's putting drugs, he's putting alcohol... He's putting uh, guns so that he thought... He's putting spells. Yeah, they'll never come out of this. <coughs> but the Lord made us come out of it. That's why he's afraid. Because mm -hmm. as we're coming out of it, we're telling the truth. Because we are fucked up. And mm -hmm. they know what happens. There's, there's, They know what happens when we call upon our Father mm -hmm. and our Savior. We're saved. Yeah. What happened to us when we were in all these different slaveries of Babylon? Look at mm -hmm. all these slaveries we've been through. Mm -hmm. And they seen us come out of them. Mm -hmm. And Esau's a calculated devil, so he's like, well, what got him out of there? Mm -hmm. What got him out of Egypt? What and got then him he out? has the manuscripts. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. He knows he can't change us. Uh -huh. He can try to change the world because right. they're ignorant. And, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what he's going to do. He's going to try to turn them against us. Yeah. Just like they're trying to do with the, you know, the poison against <coughs> the poison, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's what that's going to do. <laughs> they said a zombie apocalypse. Remember Lot's time. The whole city came against Lot. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. right and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. So at, once again, at the end of all this tribulation, Yahweh Shai is going to come and deliver us. This goes back to Revelation 18. Where it says, Come out of her, my people. I was going to get that for the last mm -hmm. verse. And that, what is that? Him calling us up into the chariot. That's literally, there's going to be a voice in Hebrew calling us out of this land into his chariot to protect us from the destruction that comes by these missiles. See? And they ascended up <coughs> to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them. Right. So our enemies are going to watch us actually go up into that cloud, which is what? A chariot. And they're going to say, this was those people... You know, they, those were the those are the ones that were gonna be saved. I thought those were just crazy. Yeah. <laughs> At the same time, that's why that Proverbs five. Why didn't I listen to them? Because two thirds of our people in America are gonna be in that lake of fire. I was right there by them. Yeah. yeah. I was married to one. You know, <laughs> these women that commit adultery on their husbands and they get left. And if she would have just been good. Yeah. They see us as fools for the, our power. You how right. our champion is our King and Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai, you know. Yeah. So that's why they they just go like walk by, you know, because mm -hmm. they're they're into this world, you know. <coughs> and the Lord did that mm -hmm. so that they would reject it. Mm -hmm. See, even Esau, he looks at it. You see, he don't think of 
Yeah, I was shy with us. He looks at you as a man and says, he's watching you through your technologies and everything. Mm-hmm. He's like, this guy, I'll kill him, man. I'll put a fucking gun to his head. I'll blow his fucking brains out. I'll send in my Navy SEALs. I'll send in, you know, whatever. I'll send in a drone. He's not seeing it as we have heavenly power with us. That's what you don't understand. There's more of us than there are of them. Right. This is, uh, let me grab this. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse... In fact, you could drop that. We'll go back to this one. Okay. Uh, yeah, Psalms 27. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1, verse 18. It says, For preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Because we remember who we are. Mm-hmm. How did we forget? Yeah. It was took it from us. Yep. But now, how do we remember it? By the power of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai. Mm-hmm. Yep. And that's the evidence of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahushai. Because we have this faith. This faith is not of the earth. Mm-hmm. You can't find it under a rock. You can't find it in the Christian Even church. Even when you find it, it don't mean you're going to believe it. Mm-hmm. <coughs> like, I never believed in the Christian church. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, um, that's what the Illuminati is probably say. How'd they find out? Who they were, you know? Yeah, who told them? Who leaked it? They're killing their own people. <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is Psalms 27, verse 1. A psalm of David. The Lord Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Right. So that light is pertaining to the fire that is in us. Mm-hmm. All right. And it goes back to Yahweh Shai. It's the mm-hmm. truth of Yahweh Shai that is within us. Go ahead. The Lord Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm-hmm. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Right. They, they fucked up. Where they're going to destroy themselves. Why? Because we already know. Mm-hmm. The Lord is controlling all this to his angels. To mm-hmm. Yahweh Shai and his angels. But they think they're in control. Right. Mm-hmm. Come on. Though an host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. Right, which a host is what? An army. And they do encamp around us. Mm-hmm. Go to Revelation 20 and verse, I think it's like 9. It says, uh, then he shall deceive the nations. Go ahead, you go. Oh, on the same one? Yeah. Because they, they do in Caparamas. We've just been talking about it. Con. They, their, their intentions are to kill us. It says in Psalms 83 that they are confederate against us. All these different nations. Mm. See, right, if America was to go down, guess who else would want to rule? EU. If EU was to go down, Russia would want to rule. Mm-hmm. If Russia would go down, China would want to rule. Japan was one. So they're all against us. They don't want us. They got us at the very, very bottom. Mm-hmm. Remember the story of Cinderella? Uh, they, no, they, her uh, mm. stepsisters, they kept hiding her because they didn't oh, want her yeah. to get that slipper. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's how we are. They don't want us to be revealed as who we are because that's going to set us up into that power, that seat of They want to be forever. Right. So they pushing us in the dark. They're going to try, eventually to a point where they kill us, to try to hide this. Mm-hmm. And today we got so many, uh, uh, you know, hopeful elect, you know, because mm-hmm. they're throughout the whole world, you know. Right. He's it's like <coughs> in a, on a boat, and there's all kinds of holes in it, and he's trying to plug them all, but he can't. He can't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He might yeah. kill some of us, about mm-hmm. 10, 20, 30, 40. Mm-hmm. But it says it's precious. Yeah. I mean, rare. Because mm-hmm. really, an elect man is rare. So mm-hmm. how rare is it? You know, it's really, really rare. You know, mm-hmm. only a few. Mm-hmm. And then, shit, a lot of us are going to get spiritual power, and that's going to be worse for this devil. Oh, <laughs> that's going to be beautiful. Mm-hmm. That light, our horns are going to be hardened. Yep. Mm-hmm. Rays of light. Mm-hmm. They're not going to understand, you know. Mm-hmm. The wicked shall not understand, <laughs> but the wise shall. Mm-hmm. We knew this was coming. Go ahead, One thing have I desired of the Lord Yahweh that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord Yahweh 
all the days of my life to so, be. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. This is King David speaking, and that's where our heart should be. Mm -hmm. It's seeking the Lord's kingdom. Mm -hmm. Right? The, Yahweh Shai said that. Seek the kingdom first. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. To behold the beauty of the Lord Yahweh and to inquire in his temple. For in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock. And we are hidden. We look like just average people. We're not glorified right now. Mm -mm. You're not riding around. We're either. the hidden ones. Mm -hmm. Mercedes. Mm -hmm. Benz. Or yeah. We don't, we're not flying and all that yet. Mm -mm. We don't even have all these different women coming after us and all that. Nope. Let me go this real quick. This is Psalms 83, verse, outside at 1, it says, Keep not thou silence, O power. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. <coughs> For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, which is a loud noise. They're pretty much telling their allies to come against us. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken the crafty counsel against thy people, thy people, and consulted against thy hidden ones. See, we're hidden amongst the people. But just like a serpent, which he saw is considered a snake, before the serpent attack, it lifts up his head. See, and that's what they're doing right now. They're raised up. They're saying, hey, we got to come together. We got to be one. We got to be in a one world order. And whoever ain't in this one world order, they're the enemies to the everybody. Mm -hmm. I just heard it uh, yesterday on Young Turks. Mm -hmm. um, they said, if, if you don't get the jab, you're like a nuclear bomb walking around. They, they're for mm -hmm. the jab? Yeah, they're for the jab. They said, because you're, in, you're coming against their freedom to live freely. Mm -hmm. And they said, just like today, if you had a nuclear bomb, you'd go against my freedom to be safe. So mm -hmm. they said with that virus, you could be like a nuclear bomb anywhere, just hidden. So they see what I'm saying? So they're coming against us like that. They're trying to create fear. Right. It says, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation <coughs> that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Mm -hmm. and, and who remembers that they're Israelites? The prophets. See, that's who they want to kill, the prophets. Mm -hmm. You two-third, you're going right with the program. They ain't worried about you. Tom. You're going for the free hamburger, so you're getting the jab. You deserve what you're getting, you right. useful idiot. You but the, the ones he's talking about here is the elect, the hopeful elect. Mm -hmm. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. And it starts with Edom, the tabernacles of Edom. Mm -hmm. So you just read it. He's going to hide us in the tabernacles of who? Mm -hmm. Of Israel is what he's talking about. So he's bringing us together so that we could be stronger. That's why we have the, the brothers. Mm -hmm. And when we get weak, we got the brothers to and the elders, starting with the apostles and elders, which are our brothers as well. And we're able to go to them and it comforts us. Mm -hmm. Because what they do, they bring out scriptures that you may not know or you you need to hear at that time. You see a video that it, it comforts you. Mm -hmm. See? So he's hiding us in the tabernacles of Israel. Mm -hmm. See? God. It says, um, the tabernacles of Edom, these are the nations that are against us. The so-called white men and the Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs of Moab and the Hagarnes or Hagarines, however you want to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And those are Arabs that, uh, the Hagarines, or Hag, uh, it goes back to Hagar. Right. Which was the Egyptian woman that was uh, the wife of Abraham, which Ishmael was born to. Mm -hmm. Yebal, which is uh, Edom. And Ammon, the Japanese. And Amalek, the Jewish Edomites that are in our land. The Philistines and with the inhabitants of Tyre, which are the Africans. Mm. Ashur, which uh, we went into that last time. Uh, the kingdom of Syria, when you go into there, that's Afghanistan, that's Iraq, that's Iran. That's uh, all those nations of the, of the, um, uh, what 
what is it, the fruitful uh, crescent. Mm -hmm. the, I believe that's how they say it. The fruitful crescent. Fertile crescent. All right. You go into the kingdom of Assyria, which I'll show you now. And that's the fert, fer, fertile crescent, which this was also the path of uh, Abraham. All right. And you go into Assyrian Empire. There you go. So all those nations in the Middle East, they're against us, all right? All the nations of the world, including Russia, which the brother has on hold right now. They're not an enemy to America. Mm -hmm. If they were, why didn't they nuke them? Doesn't Russia have fucking weapons that America can't defend against? Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So why haven't they done nothing? Mm -hmm. Hasn't Russia came over here into the boundaries of America? They're confederate. They're confederate. Hasn't Russia flew over American land uh -huh. with bombers? Why did they shoot it down? Mm -hmm. Because they're confederate. Mm -hmm. See, they're confederate against the Israelites. Mm, Go ahead. And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Right, so now we're actually becoming wise and we're able to see over our them. What are we seeing? We're seeing into these prophecies. Uh -huh. Round about me, therefore, will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will sing praises unto the Lord Jehovah. Hear, O Lord Jehovah, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me and answer me. And he's going to answer us. How's he answering us? He's giving us that light. Mm -hmm. See? Uh -huh. And yeah. ju just like he said in the first verse, get the first verse. Of that chapter. The first one? Mm -hmm. First one says, uh, Psalm 27, chapter 27, mm -hmm. verse 1. The Lord Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord Yahweh is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? There you go. He's that light. Mm -hmm. Come on. See? Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 35. Be ready to the reward of the kingdom... For the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. So whoever believed that is of the elect, that, that that's sealed in us. We can never forget it now. In fact, it's just only going to increase in more and more and more and more. See? So even though we're 